New dude, let's talk about that first. Where's yeah, the hair? It looks like yours. Am I your inspiration? Yeah, you are. You inspired me. I, I, I took that. a picture of you to the headrest and I said, make it look like that. Have a look. Yeah, no, not quite. He's a lot prettier. Uh, first of all, congrats on, on Fuse. Two number one hits off that album. Thank How's you. that feel? Thank you. Incredible. Hell of a good start, yeah. The nomination tonight with the collaborators. That's yeah, feel that good little too. song just keeps on giving. It's incredible. Uh, who's your next collaboration with? Well, I don't rightly know. Um, I love playing with McGill tonight. Really, really cool getting to do that with him, and I hope we get to do something else. So different and, and, and interesting what you guys were doing up there. Uh, how did the performance feel? Unusual. <laughs> how so? How so? Yeah, well, you know, we sort of purposefully tried to make a... I just take it to a slightly minimal place, and um, it's tricky because it's a song that's been covered a gazillion times by everybody, and... You know, we just tried to make it our own tonight. Well, that you did. Uh, uh, the other performances that were out there, who was your fave? Well, Lord killed it. She did. She's just got it. Whatever it is, she's got it in spades. <laughs> Where do you think music's going at so many different angles nowadays? Oh, no one knows. This is great about it. Someone like Lord comes along. Did anybody predict that? You know, like, how do you define Royals as a song? It's just um, stark minimalism and... Uh, kill a lyric and just very of its time. I, mean, I think that the fact that we are here as independent artists is a testament to the changing times of the music industry and the way that we have been embraced by radio and by mainstream pop culture this year is beyond any expectations that we had for this album. I live many years in Portland. I don't think of, oh, yeah. Se yeah, I don't think of Seattle or the Northwest as being a bastion of hip hop artists. How would you guys break out? I uh, made music that was us, made music that was real and authentic to our experience, and uh, it connected with the people. Is there a big hip-hop culture in, in Seattle? Yes, absolutely. I think it's very un unknown or getting more well-known, but we came out of a, a thriving scene and a community of talented people. There's a wide variety of hip-hop in Seattle. You, you collaborate with a wide variety of, uh, of vocal artists. How about getting the guys from Pearl Jam to maybe collaborate with you guys? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. They're very cool dudes. Did you get these uh, threads at a thrift shop? No, I did not. <laughs> not for the Grammys. Yeah, great yeah, performance yeah, yeah. out there. How did it feel tonight? It felt great, man. It, it felt great. I think the I think the fact that we were, you know, alongside so many incredible artists, you know, new newer artists, legendary artists, and artists who are just moving and shaking. Um, and the fact that it was a collaboration, you know, I think was, was the coolest. Singing, you know, Ain't No Sunshine is just a huge pleasure, especially for an event like this. Was, yeah, we, talk, we just talked to Keith. He said he, he just loved uh, performing up there with you. How did it feel on your side? Man, I'll tell you, Keith is um, not easy to work with. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> Keith is honestly, hands down, probably the coolest guy I've ever got to work with, especially on a collaborative tip. And, and Keith, can we, can we make some music, man? God, this is the official request, and I'm doing it on live on television. Okay, can we can we make it happen, man? I'm All right, let's do that. Put my bid in right now. ET only <laughs> takes 10%. We'll, we'll, we'll make that happen. <laughs> we just talked to uh, Mac Lamore and Ryan Lewis. They're nominated for uh, best new artist. Your your category from last year. What kind of advice would you give them? Oh man, um, are you, you a know, fan? The, get out of here. Yeah. The, the crazy thing is, uh, we have been you know two ships passing, you know, all over the world it seems. We've been playing the same festivals and just never really got to meet each other, but um, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of his movement, you know, and his story, first of all. And so uh, the fact that he's here, you know, coming from Seattle, it's, it's rare for any hip hop to really emerge from Seattle. The fact that he's done it the way that he's done it and it's been a huge year for him is incredible. And, and you know, he's amongst an incredible lineup of artists. So, you know, I, I think he's, he's got a fair shot just like all of them do. How did it feel out there as electric, wasn't it? Tonight? Yeah, it felt incredible. And I have horses in this race. So uh, when I looked at the teleprompter, I was happy to see Kendrick Lamar's name. Kendrick Lamar uh, made it up there, and uh, any other horses that uh, you're kind of rooting for going into January? You know what? Now, now, here's a very fair statement. Kendrick, I've had on the show, so I'm biased. But I've never met Mac Lamore and Ryan Lewis, and I'm a huge fan of their music 
and also how they rattle the cage, right? And uh, you know, I mean, our, our, some ex some accepted philosophies and thoughts about pop culture. They're rattling that cage. I like that. I believe Ryan Lewis and Macklemore are so talented, they're going to win in some categories they're not nominated in. That's how bad <laughs> them two boys are. Look out. There's a rule on TV. If somebody lends you something and you wear it on television, you do get to keep it. Yeah, that rule hasn't applied to me before. Um, although I did steal this belt um, and I'm going to take these shoes. These jeans were lent as well and this t-shirt was lent. So basically, I win. I'm going to take all of it. And if you had to get it all back, you'd be naked, so we don't want no, that. No, but my, my, my theory is is people are always going to give uh, lend artists clothes as long as they're successful. So I'm going to steal these, and if the next album's not successful, I've got a free jacket, and if it is successful, I get another jacket. What did you think when you heard your name called? I screamed really loud. <laughs> like a little girl? Yes, I did, and I squealed, and Lord was right in front of me. I was like, so sorry. <laughs> you broke your eardrum? Yeah, like, you know, your pipes are nothing. Listen to this. <laughs> Well, it's, I mean, the song is, is amazing, and obviously it has uh, 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 many different messages. Um, why was it important for you to, uh, to write that and perform it and record it with these guys? I think the song for me, um, it's everything that I always wanted to write. I think as a, as a Christian lesbian, like, this is, the, this is my story, and to be able to write that. And just by chance, like, just let's send you this song and I'm like okay this is totally this is totally who I am and I got that opportunity to um, to share that with other people and I wanted to write a chorus that was unifying and that um, didn't didn't make a, a, a separate identity for the gay community to the straight community because it's not like everybody wants someone to keep them warm and love is entirely universal and um, and I think that it affects people that way and I think that's why it did so well.